as an exercise in using and perhaps understanding some of the meaning of function notation, we look at a graph of part of a parabola. We have t going this way, f of t going this way. And we ask several questions. Okay, what is the point or points where f of t equals 5? Where is it that f of t equals 5? Now, when we say f of t equals 5, what do we mean? f of t equals 5 means, well, f of t is your y value. t is your t value. You plug t into f of t, and you get your y value. So f of t equals 5 means y equals 5. So what we're looking for is points on the graph where y, which is on the vertical axis here, equals 5. Well, if we look at the scale, let's see, we have 40 here. You might be able to read that. These smaller numbers, when this video is compressed, might be illegible. Uh, but 5 is right here, which makes sense if we see that 40 is here, 5 is right here. So there's where y equals 5. And we simply go over to the graph at the y equals 5 level, and we project downward, and we find the t-coordinate where y equals 5. That's going to be somewhere between 0 and negative 2. Again, you might not be able to see this, but the vertical lines here are two units apart. Uh, the horizontal lines are five units apart. The next question is, where is the vertex of the parabola? Well, the vertex, again, is the point of symmetry, the low point of this parabola. That's going to be right here at t equals 2. We could estimate y it's somewhere below this vertical or horizontal line. Uh, maybe at negative 7. This horizontal line, of course, is negative 5, so we're going to say maybe negative 7, so the vertex is at 2, negative 7. Okay, next thing, the point or points corresponding to the value f of 0. Now, what do we mean when we say the f of 0? Exactly what's going on and at what point or points on the graph is that going to hold? When we write f of 0, we're putting in 0 for t because our function is f of t. So 0 replaces t. So that our t coordinate, which is running along the horizontal axis, is going to be 0. Where does that occur? That occurs on the vertical axis. So f of 0 refers to a point on the graph where we're on the vertical axis, where t equals 0. That's going to be this point here called the y-intercept. The coordinates of the point are going to be 0, f of 0. Another question we're asked is, what's the value of f of negative 3? Well, if we see f of negative 3, uh, we're substituting t equals negative 3. So that means that we look at the t equals negative 3 point. Here t is 0, negative 2. Negative 3 occurs right about here. Where is the negative 3, uh, the t equals negative 3 point on the graph? Well, we come up along the vertical line t equals negative 3 until we hit the graph. And if we want the value of f of negative 3, we then move over to the y-axis, and we see f of negative 3 is here. And the value of t for which y equals 20? Well, y equals plus 20 here. We go over to the graph, and we find the value of t straight down from the y equals 20 point on the graph. <laughs>